Hey, so now we're getting into what Kafka really is about. We're getting into the details, we're getting into the specifics, and you're going to learn a lot of things right now about Kafka. So the first topic I want to talk about is actually called topic, and the topic is formed of multiple partitions. So let's see what this means. A topic is basically a stream of data. The same way you have tables in databases, you have topics in Kafka. You can just publish data to it. You can have as many topics as you want. The only thing is that they have to have different names because a topic is identified by its name. So far, so good. Then topics are split. They're split in what is called partitions. So a partition is basically a part of the topic. And the data within the partition is ordered. We'll see what that means. And each message within the partition, that's your actual data, will get an incremental ID, so a number. And that number starts at 0 and goes all the way to whatever. And that number is called an offset. So I've put together a little graph in the bottom of the screen to show you what it means. So let's just take a, a topic. And there's partition 0, which is the first partition. You will write a message to it and have the offset 0. Then you'll write another message to it and you'll have offset 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So the offsets increment from 0 to, in this case, 12 as you write data. Okay? Then, as I said, a topic has multiple of, uh, partitions. So we'll have partition 0, partition 1, and partition 2. And each partition has their own offsets. So for partition 1, the orange one, the offsets go from 0 to 8. And for partition 2, the offsets go from 0 to 9, and the next offset will be 10. As you can see, the writes are done from 0 and then incrementing. So this whole set of partition, partition 0, partition 1, partition 2, that's what makes your topic. It's a really important concept here. Now, offsets, they only have a meeting for a specific partition. So for example, offset number three in the partition doesn't represent the same data as offset number three in partition one. So as you see before, if we take offset number seven in partition zero, it doesn't mean anything except for partition zero. For partition one and partition two, you may have other data completely different, so you have no idea. So offsets are only for a specific partition. Then the order is guaranteed only within a partition. So if you write your data to partition 0, it will be in order. Then partition 1 will be in order. But you cannot guarantee the order between partition 0 and partition 1. OK, the offsets are independent. Then within the partition, and that's a specific, uh, a specific attribute of Kafka, the data will be kept only for a limited time. And the default, I think, is two weeks. So past these two weeks, the data will, will just disappear, so offset 0 will go away, but the offsets will still increase. But offset 0 will never be revisited again. So which brings us to the four concepts. Once the data is written to a partition, it cannot be changed. That's a concept called immutability. That's really important. Once you make a write to Kafka, you cannot overwrite it. You can write an update, but this will be the next offset, and that's it. Then when you push data, you don't push data to a partition. You push data to a topic. And to know to which partition it's going to go to, it's randomly assigned at first, unless you provide a key. And we'll revisit like that concept a little bit later in the course. Finally, you can have as many partitions as you want for a topic. The more partitions, the more parallelism. So that's it for topic and partitions. Just remember uh, that little diagram in the bottom that will really help you. And remember that offsets only have a meaning for a specific topic partition.